<laughs> Hi, folks. Will with Pop Samurai here, and we have fun on this podcast. We do. We <laughs> but have sometimes, so much fun. Sometimes, in all of our fun, we make some mistakes, like we did tonight. I have to apologize to all of you. I am sitting in the captain's chair for the first time, and I had a little bit of a snafu where I didn't start the stream. Fortunately, through the miracles of modern technology, we have the captured video, which we can play for you right now, and then we'll clumsily hop in right at the end to continue the stream. You won't even notice. <laughs> it will be seamless. Yeah. So seamless. thank you for bearing with us. I apologize for the delay, and please enjoy this feature presentation <laughs> of Pop Contention. Bye, everyone.
Samurai. I choose you. It's Pop Samurai. No. Pop Samurai, if you're not listening to Pop Samurai, then, uh, I, then you, you're doing nothing constructive. In a world looking for something to listen to, a group of friends rise to the challenge. It's Pop Samurai. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of Pop Contention. You're here with us right now on twitch.tv slash Pop Samurai Network. Ooh. I am your host for the night. I am Will Willwalkie Washkoon, along with my co-hosts. Joel Jurassic Park Paprocki. Like it. I am Jaboy Jelani Hoon. I am a big fan of everyone having nicknames, <laughs> uh, and I am... In control, I am literally drunk with power and Jim Beam right now. Yay! Uh, I'm very excited to be in the tiny little box in my in my little corner. Uh, but before I get too crazy with all of my new skills and abilities, I've written all of them down on my character sheet. I want to let you know that you can check us out on the other entries in our character sheet. Uh, that is at Facebook slash Pop Samurai, Instagram slash Pop Samurai Network. Uh, Pop Samurai Network at gmail.com for some email goodies. Uh, Twitter at Pop Samurai Cast uh, and Pop Samurai Network.com. Yeah, yeah. You're Woo-hoo. home for all things Pop Samurai on yeah, the World Wide Web. Uh, so, for those of you who are new to this show, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, we are going to be building a show top five list uh, based on our own personal biases and uh favorite things and the topic this week is the top five game breakers that's video gaming that's board gaming it's cheats it's items it's powers it's stuff that gives you an unfair advantage over whoever you might be playing against Mm. you guys got some uh history here yeah yeah i have decent ones i have ones (laughs) <laughs> it's you're your, out of here <laughs> it's your confidence that's really breaking the game tonight. yeah hey. <laughs> no, i'm interested i have a list good <laughs> good yeah. that is the first step to victory uh so um the way we're going to do this is we're each going to give our own personal lists and then we will have a round where we nominate and debate over where we think our items should be on the show's top five list so we're going to get things started right away with our man, J-Pop, Whoa. Joel Paprocki. Why don't you give these fine people your number five entry? All right. So this one is pretty much an OP. It's overpowered. Um, and what it is, is from a PlayStation 1 game. It is called Gran Turismo 2. But in that game... There was one specific car that if you were a racing game head like I used to be, I haven't played many lately, but uh, there's a car called the Suzuki Escudo Pikes Peak Edition. And what happened is you could tune that car and it would have the most horsepower out of any car in that game. And basically it would go so fast that you could be bumping and riding along the wall of any track and you're still going so fast and it would take off every here and there. It was ridiculous, but you would beat any car. So it's just it like, it could actually, get it would lift, lift. off. Yeah. Huh. It oh. would, yeah, it was absolutely fast. And it was That's clearly insane. like an issue with the game. Like they didn't think about people tuning this thing that high. It was just kind of like, well, this is a crazy fast game or car in general, mm-hmm. but yeah, it was like huh. way too much. <laughs> I've never played. So the Gran Turismo series has always been just like a weird, like, Oh, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. well, it's trying so, to be realistic, right? So this one was the game breaker. It was the unrealistic. <laughs> yeah, the cool thing about Gran Turismo has always been that you had a garage mode where you could take whatever car you were driving, bring it in, and swap parts. Yeah, like and it thoroughly would actually tune everything. Yeah. Change, you know, how Details, that car yeah. handled. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And sounded and everything. Mm-hmm. I would like to get you guys to play because I there is there's I, the only thing I've ever touched of Gran Turismo is Gran Turismo VR. And I'd love to get you guys. Oh, I love it. That sounds excellent. I used to have a feedback wheel. I wish I still had that. <laughs> there are also people that like build those full on oh, legs with the pedals yeah. and like I gyroscopes and stuff. And we used to like lay oh, pillows so back cool. behind us and like sit on the ground. <laughs> so it's, absurd. Yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah, that one. So I guess you could just call it the uh, Escudo Pikes Peak. 
I know it's. Uh, I put uh, just Gran, Gran Turismo, Turismo to too. Suzuki PP. Yep, there you go. PP. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> That'll do just fine. I don't Love know it. exactly. You're Suzuki PP at number five. Awesome. Jelani, what about your number five game breaker? Oh, my number five. Okay, your number so. Five. <laughs> So surprised. Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a list. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, uh, so uh, when I when I heard this topic, I went a couple different routes, right? Okay. One, I one I went with things that overpowered you as a character, and then I also went with characters that were kind of game breaking. Yes. Difficult for you to get past as well, Ooh. and I, so I chose a couple of those as well. And so number five is going to be a boss battle uh, from Final Fantasy VII, actually, that I believe is probably the most like game breaking thing in the in the game. And it's an optional boss. It is the Ruby Weapon. And oh, Ruby, Ruby Weapon. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. It, All of it, the weapons were just insane. They were insane, but the Ruby Weapon is super insane for the way that you had to get through that battle. And I'll describe it if I if I get on a list and I'll have to defend it. But like. It's very different from a lot of, uh, of, of the other bosses in that game. And again, you guys know that I love Final Fantasy VII, so yes. um, that right there was one that broke me. <laughs> <laughs> it broke the player. <laughs> the player. <laughs> All right. Well, then let's move on to my number five. Uh, this is from a more recent game, uh, more recent than both of those. Uh, I'm going to go with Brigitta, who is a character in Blizzard's wonderful hero shooter, Overwatch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were, like when, when you said Overwatch, I almost thought you were going to go with, like, May or something like that. <laughs> oh, no, May is not overpowered. Oh. Brig Brigitta definitely is, at least right now. Okay. She's one of the newer characters. Okay. So, uh, which brings us back to Joel for number four. All right. Uh, this one is essentially a cheat. Um, I wouldn't say it's a glitch, but it's kind of a mistake on the developer's part, so people exploited it, and therefore it's kind of a cheat. It is Mario Kart 64, Rainbow Road, Jump Off the, the Track. Jump. Everybody should know it. If you don't, look oh. it up, and you'll see that you can beat anybody <laughs> if you if manage you know to get it, it, if you know how to get it, if which is tough. Lift. Oh, <laughs> man, it is not an easy one either, so um, give that a try if you get it. You're going to win. <laughs> nice. Nice. So the funny thing is uh, Super Mario Kart also had a level where you could jump like halfway across the map. I think it was the haunted level. It was level. the haunted yeah. level. If yeah. you had, but you had to have the right the feather. You had and to have a, the feather. A, and a, yeah, exactly. But yeah, they have they have a history of doing that. They should. So. <laughs> I love uh, it. Jelani, you're number four. Number four for me is... Um, <laughs> From a game called uh, Super Smash Brothers, and oh. the the item that I'm putting on this oh, list God. as just an overpowered <laughs> item once you get it, um, go is the hammer. Yes. Oh yeah. Donkey Kong's hammer. That's it. Yep. Um. Yeah. That's Mario. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's basically Mario's hammer from Donkey Kong. Yeah. So love that. But it's it's the hammer that's used in Smash. Everybody loves the hammer. Uh. Okay. Number four. Weird, like sexual undertones You're to that next. comment. What happened to your list? <laughs> number four is is mine. Yes, <laughs> my number four. What it does? Uh, I am going back in time. Now I'm older than both of you guys. I'm gonna go back to uh, the Super Nintendo or the arcade machines uh, for Street Fighter Two Turbo Ooh. and Akuma. Yes. Oh yeah. The unlockable secret oh, character yeah. that just showed up Ruthless. and uh, ruined. Everybody. Yeah, exactly. As long as you didn't get uh, what was it, Brown Ryu? Mm -hmm. If you yeah. input it wrong, <laughs> yeah, nice. that's exactly right. Nice, awesome. All right, number three for Joel. Cool. Um, this one is a cheat slash glitch. I'll call it. Uh, and basically, it's in Halo Combat Evolved, the first one for Xbox. Mm -hmm. If you um were on an empty clip on a few specific guns, including like the shotgun. Um, you would then start the reload, um, uh, sequence. And basically if you switched weapons while you were doing that, it would give you the amount that you had before, uh, you know, before you were reloading. So it would go back to a full clip. So essentially you got infinite ammo in that game. Wow. Yeah. That's and I figured that one out accidentally a long time ago and I exploited the living shit. And all of a sudden you were pretty good at Halo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nice. Nice. Uh, the switch glitch at number three. Uh, Jelani, you're number three. Number three. You have a list. I have a list. Oh, okay. Number three uh, for your boy <laughs> here 
is from it's another it's a, it's from Mario Kart, right? Mm. And it's kind of a newer item, but it's one that is uh for me just so furiously just like <laughs> cringe inducing every time it happens to someone who's in oh, the I lead. Know. I... It's the blue shell. Yeah, I love the it. The blue shell <laughs> oh, is got the bane point. of my existence in any Mario Kart. That game. is an overpowered item. For I sure. already <laughs> am not good at Mario Kart. All right. <laughs> so I don't if need you, you just happen to be in first. Somehow. I don't need you to snatch away the one lucky time I'm gonna win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> God, that's pretty good. I love it. Uh, I hate. As someone shell. who's slight, I'm I'm assuming at least slightly better than you are at yes, Mario Kart. Yes, you probably are. Uh, I can probably I, tell the truth. I are. hate the blue shell with and you hear passion. it coming <laughs> and you, there's nothing you can do like you could just stop and let the the second place person pass you that's hope. true yeah but that's about the best you can do all right uh my number three uh i am also going uh for something from the halo franchise i'm going for the sword from oh, Halo yeah. 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember nice. when you could first get your hands on the energy sword? I loved that thing so much. In multiplayer? It looked so cool. It looked so cool. And <laughs> you heard you heard the sound. <laughs> and it's just like, Psh, and you're like, oh, I'm dead. Yeah. I'm dead already. Yeah. So, when you stuff. saw invisible elites coming at you with that thing, that was like the only time I'd get worried in that game. See, <laughs> and I remember when I finally figured out that you need to have the sword as your secondary weapon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And be you know invisible and then just as you're jumping pull it out and yep. launch. yeah <laughs> and it was like unstoppable yeah mm. i love uh, it good stuff joel number two all right i'm going with a uh glitch here this is from a game from playstation 3 it was called aliens colonial marines oh man <laughs> i don't know if you guys know anything about this game uh but the and i'll give the history of it later on because i want this on this list uh mm -hmm. but we're gonna call it the tether glitch and basically it made it so that all the enemies couldn't detect you <laughs> and therefore you won you were the most overpowered thing in the game <laughs> right on nice i've never that's seen that big of an the... error in a video game before <laughs> that's also probably one of the most broken games out there yeah, too. yeah exactly <laughs> uh jelani you're number two uh, Jaboy likes Final Fantasy games, guys. I'm going to something a little bit further than uh, Final Fantasy VII. I'm going to X. I'm Ooh, going to Final yeah, Fantasy yeah. X, and there is one Aeon I can think that you summon in this game that is game-breaking, and that is Yojimbo. Yojimbo! Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. I was wondering, I was like, are you going to say it for it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The other, one, the other summons are, they're summons. Yeah. This one is game-breaking. I'll explain You're right. Why. No, you're right. Yojimbo is a good one. I was just all looking right. at these the other week, too. Yojimbo! Oh, I love that. <laughs> Uh, number two for cool. me, uh, actually has more prominence as a game breaker in the TV show than in the actual game, and that's mostly because you could never actually play with it in the game, uh, in any sort of sanctioned event. I'm gonna go with the God cards from Yu-Gi-Oh. Hmm. If you remember, there were three yeah. Yeah. God cards, and every single one of them was ridiculous and game overpowered. Breaking. And game breaking. Yes. Yes. Huh. Uh, to the point where they were legendary, and there would only be one out there. That's a very interesting pick. I like that. I like that one. Uh, now we'll go to our runners up, our honorable mentions. Joel, you got any of those? I was trying. I can't. I all right. So I didn't write them down, but I'm trying to think of a few of them. Uh, one of the fun glitches that I always liked that was kind of hilarious was the tank from Grand Theft Auto Three when you turn on that uh, mode where, or you just keep shooting it backwards and eventually yeah. you take off and so fly you could around fly. there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what that game was great for, right? Just running around doing bullshit. So, um, and then uh, so in Magic: The Gathering. What was the name of that one card that everybody was after? The Black what? The Black Lotus. Was it really that overpowered? I feel like that thing has haunted me my whole life, and I don't understand what it really did for you. So it's, I think it's like a one-cost card that is a land that works as any, any color. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. So you just, like, automatically can apply yeah, it Yeah, so you yeah, lay yeah, it yeah. down, and all of a sudden you have any color. Oh. Well, that is pretty good. It's so, it's good. Um, it's to the point where it is the ultimate status symbol of I magic, yeah. and like it's worth thousands of dollars if you can get your hands good on it. Good lord! <laughs> and you can't even use it in most formats. Yeah. So it's it's kind of weird. It's mostly just a collector's item. Uh, the the pharma bro made news a couple years back 
for buying up a bunch of them. Even I saw that. I don't think he even plays magic. No, but he bought like 10 of them or something he like bought, that. He took mm. like 10 of them off yeah, the market. Yeah. And he also took the Wu-Tang Clan album off the market <laughs> and then got in a YouTube feud with Ghostface Killer. So. Talk about overpowered. That guy was <laughs> Yeah, he was, his, his ego was way overpowered. All right. Well, um, I think I'll wrap up with that one. So we'll let Jelani go then. Jelani, what else you got? Uh, so another thing from Mario Kart, the Thunder. Oh, that I hate yep. so oh, Thunder, much. for sure. That one uh, maybe even more than blue. Yeah. I, <laughs> Uh, the knife from uh, Modern Warfare. Uh, <laughs> odd job from <laughs> yes, uh, oh, odd job. So good. Yeah, because did not it's totally that. game breaking. And then uh, for fans of the Tekken series, Eddie Gordo is probably the most spammiest character. Yes, if you know how He's, to use him. No, 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 if, no, no, no. If you, you if you you're bad mash, with him, I guess. Yeah. Here's the thing: but is yeah. I got good with Eddie Gordo, and so I love him. But I remember the only reason I played him a bunch is because when I was bad at the game, and I was playing against other people who were really bad, I could just mash. I guess. Yeah, because the, the, th- the thing about Eddie Gordo is that him there. he he because of his style, he is always lower to the ground. Yeah. So like he is almost like an odd job. He's like short. Like so when they you can, they can't hit him unless they're attacking yeah. literally low. But like he has such a large range, and so like uh, someone can get away with spamming just like kicks and stuff like that a lot. So it's a very spammy capoeira. Character. Hell yeah, <laughs> capoeira, capoeira. Good stuff. Yeah, and that's all I got. All right, for me, I I went with the emerald weapon from Final Fantasy oh. VII only because it was the one that you could actually encounter through normal play, mm. like through the normal path of the game. You would see emerald weapon, and you're like, oh my god, I'm That's just there. I'm trapped in this submarine. What am yeah. I gonna do? Uh, there is a combination in DC deck building, the card game, uh, called Suicide Squad. Where if you collect a certain number of Suicide Squad cards, uh, you can force each other player to, I believe it's discard their hand, and also you get another turn right away, or something like that. (laughs) Um, So it's totally broken. Uh, The math skill from Final Fantasy Tactics, I don't Mm. know if you guys have played that, but you can actually sit there... And, um, like, figure out what all of the other baddies have that you don't via, like, level or experience or elevation or something like that. And you can cast spells that only hit all the other bad guys. It's so broken. (laughs) Uh, But it's awesome. Uh, And then I went with the Missing No Rare Candy Cheat from Pokemon. Love it. it. Uh, And the knife that actually made you run faster that's the Counter Strike Global oh, Offensive. Thank you, knife. thank you. Nice, nice. Uh, so those are my honorable mentions. Enough about. Can that. I bring up one more thing, really? Quick? Yes, you can. All right. Um, in Doom, you could do the strafe run, which was in Doom Two. Um, if you instead of just running forward, which was slower, if you strafe, then you'd run faster. So you just zigzag everywhere. Is that true? Tons, yeah. Zigzag, zigzag, I didn't realize zigzag, that. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Yep, that was it. <laughs> also, the BFG from Doom. Was oh, that's oh god. Most right. powerful thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Joel, why don't you hit us with your number one? Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever played the game Asura's Wrath? <laughs> wow. Asura. You went, you went Asura. <laughs> you bastard. You went Asura. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll, I'll, oh I'll bring it up later, God. but that is the strongest thing that ever I'm, existed. I'm going to give you this one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. It sounds like Will doesn't know what it is. I don't. I've never played a sword. Do you? Do you that's, know? Have you ever heard of it? No. Okay. I mean, I think I've heard the name. It's but a. I don't think it's I've... a beat 'em up. But I'll. I'll talk about it later. Ooh. It's hilarious. Nice. <laughs> I was. I'm blindsided by that one. That one I didn't expect at all to be ever mentioned. <laughs> by the rat. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Jelani, what's your number one? Number one, uh, for me is the Konami code. I'm gonna go Ooh. with oh, yeah, the totally. classic and the legendary like Konami code. Well done. Uh, which game do you think uh, you would say it was most useful in? I mean, do you have to do that though? Because the Konami, co- yeah, you do. Yeah, not I would have say to. But yeah, I would also I mean, I, say I Contra. would go with the original one, and it's like again that game was super hard. Just so like yeah, again, that's how you beat it. Like, you, you <laughs> the only the way. <laughs> but like 
it's it's obtained legendary status for a reason as, mm-hmm. as an iconic cheat code. I just and because they kept throwing it in our faces exactly. with every new Konami game. I just saw it tagged on a wall somewhere. Like yes. somebody had arrows <laughs> just on a wall. I was like, I know you. Um, <laughs> we meet again. I recently played. I, I think I mentioned this on my stream yesterday, but I recently played Contra for the NES mm-hmm. at work. One of my buddies brought in his Nintendo and his old uh, oh, cool. his old collection. Nice. And he had Contra, and he also was quick enough to enter it for both nice. players. Oh, wow. Uh, and nice. so, you know, me and this other guy are playing, and I went through my, like, I think you get 30 lives. Yeah, within, like, 10 seconds. <laughs> I went through them <laughs> Second within level. It's a three yeah. levels. All right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullet Realistic. Hell. But Bullet seriously, hell. I was just gone. And then I was stealing, you know, lives from my partner. <laughs> he was not excited. Yes. That's nice. so great. Love it. All right. Uh, my number one is obviously the most game breaking of all, uh, and that's God Mode, which you don't <laughs> see anymore. You're right. Uh, specifically, my favorite one is Power Overwhelming from the original StarCraft. Ooh. Because you oh, could yeah, literally yeah, yeah. do any of your like uh, escort missions. You could do Power Overwhelming, and then you send like this uh, like this lone ghost all the way into er- enemy territory to just camp on the objective. And it's like, well, game over. <laughs> nice. You know, you could do what was supposed to be like a 45-minute mission in like, like yeah. two minutes. <laughs> the time it took to just walk there. So that is my number one. Those are our lists. These are some pretty sexy-looking lists. I like it. Broken, one and all. And now it is time to decide which one of them or which of them We'll go on to the ultimate Pop Samurai Broken list. Gentlemen, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Uh, uh, think about what will I nominate first. Hmm. Weird question. Good. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> how how do I computer? <laughs> how do I do any of this? I'm I'm in over my head. Uh, this is wonderful. You shut your <laughs> mouth, Joel. Uh, so what I was saying is, uh, what you have just witnessed is. My darkest, deepest moment uh, of not being able to work tech. Uh, You just saw our first half of our show in which we gave all of our lists. Uh, Now we are about to start nominating and debating. We'll do a little bit quicker of a debate round today just to catch up with ourselves. Um, But first, I'm going to run through those lists that you just saw just so everyone's on the same page again. Starting with Joel. Joel, 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 Joel. Uh, we have Gran Turismo 2's Suzuki Escudo PP Edition. Yes, the Pikes, Pikes Peak. Peak. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mario Kart 64, The Jump. Uh, Halo's Switch Glitch. Aliens Tether. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Asura's Wrath, Asura. Yep. <laughs> themself. Uh, himself? himself? Himself. Okay, I, I told you I didn't play the game. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, J- Jaboy over Jaboy. here. Jaboy! Uh, came up with the Ruby Weapon from Final Fantasy VII, uh, the Hammer from Smash Brothers, the Blue Shell from Mario Kart, Yojimbo, the Summon from Final Fantasy X, and the infamous Konami Code. And then I, in the best list here, I think you'll all agree, uh, went with Brigitte from Overwatch, Akuma from Street Fighter II Turbo Edition, uh, the, the Energy Sword from Halo 2, 
god cards from Yu-Gi-Oh! and god mode, aka power overwhelming in the original StarCraft. So those are our tiny pretty lists. Now we have to build a big, beautiful list, and we're going right back to the well with Joel. Sure thing. Uh, why don't you nominate first for what you want to see on here? Really quick, though. Yeah. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop myself. Are we live right now? Uh, y yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I think so. Can people hear me? Co comment if you can hear me. God, I hope so. Amanda out there. Save us. Oh, yes. save us Where's the left? Where's the All left? Right. Excellent. Okay. Glad Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, it. Then let's go to Joel. All this right. isn't easy, guys, to run a show <laughs> and, and Dude, host at the same no, time. No, but the worst part is I do this twice right. a week different equipment, at home. Different equipment. How Sorry. am I so bad at this? No, you're doing fine. Just nervous. Really you're impressive. You're good. You're fine. You're doing perfect. He's literally sweating bullets now. <laughs> Just kidding. I couldn't, think, I couldn't think of a better episode for this to I know. happen I love it. than the top five broken, broken, broken things. Games. Broken games. All right. Well, All righty. Uh, Joel, break this game wide open. Cool. I'm going at number four with uh, Mario Kart 64 Rainbow Road short Shortcut. Interesting. The Jump. Jelani. Oof, oof. Um, oh, the jump is going number four, huh? You put it head to head. I don't want to go head to head right now. With wait. another Mario Kart? Ooh, that'd be really good. That'd be really good. I'm. You know what? No, I'm gonna go. I want a Final <laughs> Fantasy thing on this. Cool. Um, number two, I'm going to go with Yojimbo. All right. Wow. I'm going with Yojimbo at number two. Woo woo. Uh, and I am going to go with God Mode at number one. Damn. Already. Oh, I'm going to shoot to right for it. All right, let's try it. All right. So the way we are going to do this today is we are going to have three minutes to debate. That leaves each of us roughly one minute to talk about our items. We start from the bottom and go up. So we're going to hit Rainbow Road right away. All right. Sure. As presented by Joel. When when we hit, uh, when, we're, when we're 10 seconds out from the end of our uh, minute, can you just let us know? Can Give just, us a just, snap or something. I probably could do that. Just do like 10 seconds. Yeah. Just do that. Just, cool. just say it into the mic. 10 seconds. Well, first I'm going to put three gonna minutes go, on and say 30 seconds. It's going to go really seconds. fast. Uh, and Joel, your time defending Rainbow Road starts now. All right. We all love Mario Kart, but we're going back to early iterations on Mario Kart 64 the final level on this game, which was actually pretty darn difficult, especially when you had to go to the 3D realm. I know it was pseudo 3D, but whatever. Um, uh, so this level, typically if you're doing like one of the higher CC races is pretty darn tough, but there was one way that you could finish this no matter what, as long as you had that skill or that knowledge of where to turn off on the endless pit that's below you because you're in outer space. Um, and basically if you would fall and jump at the right time, jump and then fall at the right time, I should say, then you would fall to a further point in the track. I can't think of a better way to, to look at a, not an overpower, but, and not so much a glitch. I would just say Five it's seconds. a cheat. It's a beautiful cheat and it should be on this list. Yo Jimbo from Final Yo Fantasy X. Yo Jimbo. I love the saying the uh, the sands. <laughs> I love the summons and the aeons from uh, every game, but Final Fantasy X had one game breaking uh, aeon, which is Yo Jimbo. Mm -hmm. He is this cool looking samurai guy who comes mm -hmm. out with his little puppers, mm -hmm. and it's super <laughs> cool. And it's in like it's got this cool background yeah, with yeah. the cherry blossoms and everything like that. And you pay him bum, 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 bum. to attack uh, your enemy, right? You have enough money, you can pay him to do a one-hit kill on your enemy. And it doesn't matter what it is. It literally breaks the game if you have enough cash. You can pay to win in this game. I love it. It is super good. Like if you have if you don't have enough money and he like he he kind of like laughs at you and he like sends his puppers and tackle the enemy and everything like that, it still does well enough damage. But it's when you can pay to get that that good good yeah, samurai slash and one hit kill your enemy, even a boss. Five seconds. Amazing, amazing, Ooh, amazing. Love that. Love it Very so much. Very nice. Uh, so I am arguing uh, for the cheat among cheats, and that is God Mode. In any game where you could unlock God Mode, it absolutely broke the game because you were just invincible. That Like anything the game threw at you, forget about it. It's just going to bounce off you. It's forget Superman's chest. Yeah. 
So I love this specifically in the original StarCraft, as I said, because missions could take a while. Missions could be like 45 minutes or an hour, and you could literally just walk into the objective and get right back to the story. I also enjoyed it uh, in fighting games because you can just laugh and like swat at people. Uh, games like Grand Theft Auto, where you've got six stars mm -hmm. and they're literally <laughs> shredding you with bullets. And, you, you know, you can do whatever you want. God mode is the ultimate cheat, and I'm employing it to win the ultimate battle. And I think uh, it deserves to be on the list. Nice. And I think Look that, at that, that time. is that was a good, is our good time. alarm. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good one. Yeah, thank you. Right. So that is it for this first round of debate. Time to vote. Uh, first, number four, the Rainbow Road Jump. Joel, what say you? I'm doing yes. Jelani. Uh, Rainbow Road Jump, that's a really good one. Uh, I'll give it a yay. I'll give it a yay. I, too, am going to give it a yay, which is why I'm already writing it down. <laughs> it is on the list. <laughs> well, all right, then. Uh, next, we have Yojimbo from Final Fantasy Yo Yojimbo. Jelani. Uh, come on, he's got to puff his guys. I'm going to give it a yay. Uh, I'm going to say no. Ooh. Uh, I don't like. I agree that he's he's pretty awesome. I don't know if he's ever game breaking. Um, but he's OP. He is OP. He's OP as hell. He can one hit kill bosses. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I'm gonna say nay. Joel, over to you. Um, I'm just gonna ask, what did you like more, Sanjuro or Yojimbo? <laughs> you better make the right decision. <laughs> you mean? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna give this a yay. I I remember that very vividly. I was just mentioning that I looked this up like a week ago, and I was looking through all of them, and he just is so cool. So that yeah. one's on the list. Got to be. Super he cool. is. He is definitely cool, and He's he is definitely cool. OP. Uh, I think um, when I think of summons, he's usually one of the later ones that I think of, though. It's hard which to get is an why I would have wouldn't have put him on. It's hard to get RPGs on this list, so I'm happy he got one on here. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I wanted like an OP RPG thing to mm -hmm. get on this list. So I would have rather seen you nominate Final Fantasy VII first, but that's okay. That's why we do it this way. Uh, yeah, I'm throwing uh, shade at him for not using his <laughs> other pick. Because yeah. I like his list, like, top to bottom. Uh, finally, God Mode at number one. Mm. For me, it is power that is definitely overwhelming. I'm going to go yay. Ooh, man. man, this is hard. Um, just to clarify, are you being specific about StarCraft, or are you just using that as an example? That is... What came to me as the most pertinent example, but no, I'm just so saying. So you're just saying God mode. God mode, yeah. I have very fond memories of playing Doom with yellow eyes, so I'll give it a yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, I'll give it a yay. All right. Yeah, God, mode. God mode. I had to think That's about. Hard to... I had to think about like what, what, like what is another like. Uh, something they could really top like a god mode run and i was like no it's not game I know. I yeah, exactly. and so that is much game like yeah. god mode ex itself uh we were not able to put any dents in it it is unanimous number one on the list love it and now we Ooh. go to jelani what's for the list? second round we have numbers three and five left three and five uh ruby weapon at number five Ooh. <laughs> had to get it out there <laughs> Uh, I am going to go with the sword from Halo 2 for number three. Mm -hmm. Are you going against Joel? Yeah, I'm putting a sewer uh, next to that one. <laughs> at, at which one? At number two? Number three. Oh, number three? Yeah. Nice. So All Will right. can hear what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we have the ruby weapon at number five, followed by the sword and a sewer mm -hmm. at number three. Jelani, your oh, time okay. starts now. I want to talk to you guys about the most OP boss in a Final Fantasy game, the Ruby Weapon. The only way you can defeat this boss, the one way you can defeat this boss, is by doing some nonsensical shit, right? You have to go into the battle, right? Usually the RPG starts off, you can have three people on the battlefield, right? Usually it's Cloud and two other people. Um, <laughs> you have to <laughs> enter the battle with both your party members already dead, right? Mm -hmm. You go in solo, and you have to get KO'd by this by this boss, right? 
and you have to have already planned ahead of time to get this phoenix to revive your entire team, right? To continue on with this battle. This is nonsensical shit to get through this battle, yeah. right? Right. You have to die to get even close to trying to fight him. And even when you're resurrected, you still have a long fight to go because he has crazy HPs, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, this boss uh, will wreck your shop in this game every single time. Even if you were to do everything right, there's still a chance you're not going to do it. So I, I think it deserves to be on this list as a boss that stops you in its tracks. Right? All right. Hmm. Over to me. Uh, and I think I failed to stop you in time because my phone won't recognize my finger. Oh, no. Uh, so I have 36 seconds to oh, tell fine. you that the Real sword fine. is, I know we use this word a lot, but iconic. Like, you know the sound it makes. You know how to use it. You could tell me in detail how to use it to inflict mass pain on all of your friends without any prompting. Even going all the way back to Halo 2, you remember how cool it was when you first got your hands on one of those and when you got good with it. The sword is broken and everybody loves it that way. Joel, Asura. All right. Asura. And you have a minute. Yeah, all right. Asura is um, an odd game. It's somewhat based on uh, mythology from the East. Um, and basically, this is a character that was one of eight guardian generals, and he kind of turned into a demigod, and he had multiple arms up to six. I, actually, he might have had up to eight at one point. But, uh, and he could go down to zero arms, too, by the way. Um, but he had four different forms. The, the power of shedding off your limbs. <laughs> that was his weakest how you, form, how do which you was fight still. He is, the, his thing is that he's so robust and he's so overpowered. This is probably the most overpowered character in any game I've ever played. It's hilariously overpowered because the point is Over everything everything you do in this is punching and beat it's a beat him up essentially, but basically when you see him moving so fast with his arms punching like planets and stuff flying at him and all these enemies just flying away and stuff it's it's outrageous it's, and it's beautiful it's anime it's like the, it's the game yeah it's, it really <laughs> is it really is well that sounds excellent uh and i'm sorry to say you can't tell me anymore i know because I your know. time has expired uh let's start voting because the time for debate is over the time for voting is now uh, starting at the number five spot, yay or nay, the ruby weapon, Jelani. Uh, I'll, I'll stay yay. I'm going to stick with it. Yay. Uh, I'm going to say nay just to give some suspense. Ooh. Um, I'm going to give a nay because that is not a broken thing. Ah. There's nothing that is, it might be tough, but you can beat it. Oh. And you, there was nothing in there you said that oh. said that you couldn't do it. So I know, I, I know. I'm sorry. Ugh. I'm sorry. I am afraid that the ruby weapon has been defeated. Uh, and now it is time to move on to the number threes on our list. Starting, oh, well, well, the sword from Halo 2 against Asura of Asura's Wrath. <laughs> starting with me, a... I am going to say Dad Energy Sword, boy. All right. Um... This is tough for me because I love Asura's wrath a lot, <laughs> but I will say that I hear that sword in my damn dreams sometimes. <laughs> I think we got to put that sword on this list. That is one of the most overpowered things in the world. We're going to give it to the sword. Ooh, nice. Very cool. What would you have done? I would have went with Asura's wrath. I know. Oh, I know. That's <laughs> too bad. Too little. Too late. Put that sword on that list. That sword going down. <laughs> All is, right. That game is just over the top topness. <laughs> oh, God. I, I got to go play it now. I oh, hope, I love that. I hope it's out on PC or I something. I hope it's yeah. on PC, yeah. Uh, so it's that leaves us. the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I remember right. playing the demo. I was like, that I leaves to us <laughs> with just one spot left. It's that number five is spot. That number five? Uh, and I have to nominate first. Uh, so okay. I am going to put Brigitta from Overwatch at number five. Cool. Joel. All right. I'm going to put the Aliens Colonial Marines Tether at number five. Jolani. I'm going to put the Konami Code at number five. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, all right. And 
that means that I get to start first this time because cool. that's just the Do unlock it. of the draw. Uh, we've got three minutes on the clock. We'll see if I can unlock my phone successfully. Hey, I can. And my time starts now. So uh, Overwatch is Blizzard's excellent uh, hero-based arena shooter uh, that has been taking the world by storm for the last couple of years. I am a player of this game. Uh, and there is one character currently in the meta that just dominates everyone. And that is because she can uh, duel with anybody. The idea of an, a hero-based game is... Th yeah. The idea of a hero-based game is that you're supposed to have counters for every hero. Mm -hmm. And she just doesn't have one. Uh, she can fight with anyone as a support character. She has this stun that just completely decapitates... Er, uh, decimates enemies it puts them out of commission for like three seconds which is all you need for your team to come in and sweep them under the rug uh, Brigitte mm -hmm. is broken as hell and I'm sure she will be nerfed soon but for now I wanted to talk about her and what the hell she might stun her, her way onto this list whoop, whoop. <laughs> uh, Joel why don't you tell us about that tether all right so this game was six years in the development and somehow it was released and this was one of the most broken games of all times. It should have been the most terrifying thing ever because we all know what the aliens are, but it wasn't. And you want to know why? Because some coder managed to uh, spell tether, T-E-A-T-H-E-R, instead of T-E. Tether. Yeah, yeah. So he, and that ruined the code for the detection of uh, you, the player. And therefore, Man. the aliens could not find you. And that means that this is the only truly broken ass game on this list. And I have to say that it is absolutely ridiculous to see this creepy creature just walk right past you and you're like, hey, I can shoot you and you still don't even know where I am, you pile of shit. See you in the break like, room. This sounds, like, this sounds like a mistake I would make. I like, oh, or more aptly, I misspelled the goddamn word. <laughs> I was going to say, more likely, it seems like me today. And guess what? They couldn't even find the code error throughout like all they're searching for your time I, is I know, i'm just gonna say that they couldn't find it and some guy many years later found it nice. jelani tell us about this little known thing called the konami code guys that's the konami code all right it is classic good debate classic uh anyway code. <laughs> classic cheat code all right it is referenced in so many things it's referenced in uh, uh what, what's that wreck it ralph it's referenced mm -hmm. in there anything that has to do with gaming and cheat codes the most iconic, iconic, game-breaking thing, which is a cheat code, is the Konami code, right? Mm -hmm. Use, if you enter it fast enough, you get those extra lives in that Contra game, and you're able to, like, push Actually through. beat it. <laughs> Actually beat it, because it's a really hard game to beat on just Five your regular seconds. lives. It is legendary. It deserves to be on this list. I would venture a guess that of all of these items, the Konami code is probably the one that is tattooed on the most people's actual bodies. Yes. On asses, actually. On yeah. asses. <laughs> you know, because you got to get those extra lives for your ass, I guess. Because when your ass dead, is dead. I want to count of how many Yojimbo ass tattoos there are out there. <laughs> Let me know. And it's zero. <laughs> all right. So back to voting. All right. We have Brigitte against the tether from aliens mm -hmm. against the konami code i will go first uh and uh it's kind of up up down down on this one but Ooh. i think i'm going konami code because it's just that ba Play. Uh. sorry i shouldn't have even started nice nice love it all right joel make your selection man how bad do i want to put aliens on here but um you know what I gotta give it to Jelani. That that it. That's it. That's it's, the it's one. It. Yeah. The one, right. You you get you you just enter it on this list because guess what? <laughs> that Konami code is being inputted right now. In somewhere it list. is. Somewhere in this world somewhere, that code. Yes. Right now, somewhere in this <clears throat> world, in some game somewhere that referenced it, it's being entered or tried on the game. Guaranteed. Because every game just loves to go back and reference old school stuff. Yeah. And there are so many games where like even if you just did it like on on, on like a, the game screen of a random game sometimes they'll give an easter egg. sometimes it's there yeah, yeah. So you like it doesn't even have to be a konami game anymore you can just like put it in and hope for the best yes. whereas like sonic 06 nobody is playing aliens colonial marines right now nice 
<laughs> well said. Milwaukee. Yes. Read me off that big, beautiful list. I will do that, sir. The top five game breakers as decided by Pop Samurai Network. At number five, iconic, I think so. It's the Konami code. At number four, Rainbow Road, the j -j 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 jump. At number three, <laughs> that was really good. Halo 2, the energy sword. Number two, Final Fantasy X, Yo Jimbo. That's a deep cut. And at number one, Power overwhelming, <laughs> untouched. It is God mode. God mode. You guys, that is a broken ass list. <laughs> we just broke right through. We did. I want to congratulate you guys. I want to say thank you to everyone who was here, who uh, waited through our technical difficulties. I think we're going to take a, a, <laughs> a brief break, a shortened break compared to what we usually do. Uh, Stand by <laughs> for two so minutes. BA. So why don't you hang around for two minutes? Uh, we're just going to refresh really quick, and we will be right back. Thank you, everyone, and bye-bye.